Ég held að það sé alveg komin tíma á að byrja. Ég vil byrja því að bjóða okkur að hjartana velkomin á þessar ástöfnu gæðaráðs Íslenska háskóla sem var að halda hér í húsakinnum landbúna háskóli Íslands í dag. Ráðstefnan fer fram eins og auðlýst var á eins og smart annað í okkar starf sem er fram á ensku og þess vegna er ég hún sem að skipti yfir í ensku. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you all to this conference of the quality board for uh, higher education here in Iceland. Um, this is our annual conference we always have in September to uh, uh, discuss what we've been doing for the last year and, and uh, due to the fact that we have uh, just released two new reports. Um, uh, today we have the program is as follows. Uh, after I've opened the conference, uh, then Norman Sharp, the head of the quality board, will take over. After him, Rita McAllister will get the floor. And then the respective rectors of Agricultural University, Hoku Sigurdsson, and Elizabeth Bergnumsotti from uh, Hola University College will uh, share with us their thoughts. And uh, then we will have a coffee break. And after that, uh, Jean-Marie Homper from the Quality <coughs> Board will, uh, will uh, take care of general discussions and uh, questions from the audience and such like, and then we will finish the conference no later than 4 o'clock. But Norma, please take over. <coughs> Can't you just hold it? Can you just <laughs> wait and hold it, please? Can hold it. Um, thank you, Ina. It's a delight to be here. Uh, thank you, Rector, for, for making the facilities available to us and for welcoming us uh, to your campus. Um, it's nice to see all the renovations and developments that you're making here. And I was also fascinated to hear earlier when we were chatting about the new courses you're running with UNESCO and the the, the research institutes that you have uh, also uh, in place here. It's a really exciting development. Uh, so thank you for allowing us to, to be with you. Um, my task just now is really just to speak very, very briefly uh, about what we've been doing this year. And we have had an extremely busy year um, and another, another delightful year. Uh, I mean, I'm, I know I speak for all of my colleagues on the board that I think we do work very hard <laughs> when we're with you, um, but it is always a pleasure. And it is always a pleasure because I think we find the very best of international academe here. We find the, a group of academics uh, who really want to seriously engage in discussion about uh, the quality of their work, about the quality of the teaching and learning, and about the standards of the awards that they, they give, and how they can share their own discovery of knowledge in terms of research and developments and practice, share that with their students, uh, and codify it for, for future generations. And it is a real privilege to work with you. Uh, in the last couple of days, We've had meetings uh, at Akuri, at the Institute of the Arts, and we met this morning with colleagues from every institution in Iceland. And in every case, we have had richer and more energising discussions than I think we could have had almost anywhere. And I don't say these things lightly. I don't get extra money for saying these things. Um, it comes genuinely. Uh, from our feelings. So thank you for, for, for everything you do in this area. Thank you for making us so welcome and for making this work possible. When I first became involved in this kind of territory uh, some time ago, not, not in Iceland, um, quality in higher education was a dreadful business. Um, 
it was seen as something that was regulatory, it was about inspection, and it certainly was not about partnership. Um, I think here in Iceland and in some other places, um, the world has changed totally. It is all about enhancement, it is all about improvement. And no matter where we are, no matter where we're starting from, this feeling, as in your research, in our teaching and learning, we can always make it better. And that, that's, that's where we're, we're, we're all coming from. To that end, the most important thing, I think, without any shadow of a doubt, that we have managed to do this year, is to reconstitute the Quality Council. The original Quality Council, as you know, comprised the, the, the rectors, and the rectors did, I'm not just saying this because there are two that are looking at me with slightly concerned expressions, at, sorry, three, um, four, uh, I'll stop now. Uh, we have a number of eminent <laughs> um, and that was a very important phase because together we created the Quality Enhancement Framework for Iceland. And if we hadn't got that right, then the, everything else would just have fallen. But I think we did get it right, and the input of the rectors uh, to that was, was so important. Um, but the process moves on, and it was really important that we then created a, a Quality Council that comprised the sort of leading academics in quality working in the, the institutions across Iceland because it is all about the, the development of practice in key areas that you see as being really important to our practice in, in Iceland, kind of themes of enhancement and um, that group has now been reconstituted by the Ministry, it has had a couple of meetings uh, and elected its uh, chairman, uh, Magnus from the, the University of Iceland um, and we're delighted to work very closely with Magnus and colleagues in the, in the Quality Council. Uh, our discussion this morning was ranging over the, the issues that the Council would like to start work on, a really, really interesting agenda. <coughs> the work of the Quality Council, to my mind and the mind of colleagues on the board, is probably the best investment that can be made in higher education in, in Iceland today. For a very small expenditure, we can get huge benefit, huge benefit. You can share excellent expertise from Iceland with the international community, and you can gain expertise from that international community into Iceland. For a very small investment, we can have practitioners coming from anywhere in the world to spend time with us in Iceland. Not bring practice that we necessarily want to copy, but bring practice that will set us thinking. Bring practice that will think, that it's really interesting that they've tried that there. The evidence is that this works particularly well in that context. I don't think that would work in our university, but in our university, I think we could use that idea, but do it differently. And the whole point of these enhancement themes is that theme by theme, we will set the fire alight, we will set the minds thinking throughout the university communities about how we should be doing things. How, not how we should be doing things, but how we might think of doing things. As far as I think the, the council is concerned, having discussion with Magnus and colleagues, we want to see many flowers blooming in Iceland. It is not about everyone doing the same thing. And indeed, this morning was quite a lively discussion about the avoidance of everyone doing the same thing. Because what is appropriate in the Academy of the Arts will not necessarily be appropriate in, in the Agricultural University or in the University of Iceland, for very, very good reasons. But we've got a lot to gain by listening with great interest to what they're doing in the Academy of Arts and in the Agricultural University. So the Quality Council is so important. We need to find a good budget for it. 
and I hope everyone in the room and our welcome to you, our um, our rectors especially when you're sitting around the political tables in Iceland uh, it would be really helpful if you can lend, put your shoulder to the wheel uh, and and help with this we have ways we will we have a small budget we hope uh, to see us through the next three while but we really do need to get it entered into the proper budgeting processes of of the ministry um, and I have no access to grind other than the well-being of our well-being of our student community here so I'm really really pleased that one of our big things this year has been to get the reconstituted quality council up and running and next year at the kind of equivalent conference to this we look forward to Magda's reporting to us and sharing with us what they've been doing. In terms of um, other work, uh, um, we discussed with you before, or at least with meetings uh, with the community in Iceland before, the idea of a national student survey in Iceland. There seemed to us in our discussions, and our discussions again with the Embryonic Quality Council, that there was enthusiasm for at least exploring this idea further within Iceland. We drafted a paper with a meeting with the Ministry, we followed that up with putting a paper together saying that in our opinion there was a, 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 a wave of support for this in Iceland and it would be interesting to see this carried forward. Um, we haven't had any feedback as yet on that. The other area that you were very keen that we gave some thought to was this link between research and teaching uh, and that is also very close to our hearts uh, on, on the board. Uh, you'll have noticed in the reports that we have provided to date and actually in the, the discussions we have about reflective analysis and so on we are very very conscious of one of the aspects of quality and standards in higher education is this link between research and teaching, between the discovery of knowledge and the transmission of knowledge. It is all part and parcel of this vibrant thing that we call higher education. Um, and again, while it is not our, our remit to assess research uh, as a separate entity, it is our business to look at the linkages between research and teaching. And again, we, sh we have shared these thoughts with you before, we've collated these, and again we wrote to the Ministry at the same time, uh, giving our <laughs> thoughts about this. That's been taken forward, as far as I understand, by various <coughs> discussions about how research might be looked at more systematically um, in Iceland, and there's been discussion that um, I'm not in, or in particular has been involved in, um, in relation to the pure system um, and I think there's been various discussions in Iceland uh, with you uh, about that uh, again there, are, there is in part there are issues of getting the budget to to bring that system into being but there is a bit of a uh, an impetus now behind that initiative and were that to be implemented it could produce a, produce very very rich data for yourselves to use but would also be very useful uh, to the quality board in its, in its work. Um, finally, in terms of uh, our review activity, as you know, this year we've been conducted, conducting uh, two main reviews, uh, one in here <coughs> in the Agricultural University and one at Holar University College. And I can't speak highly enough of the efforts of both institutions to engage in a most productive manner uh, with these reviews. Uh, it has been an extremely interesting and enlightening process uh, for us and for the international experts that were involved in these. Uh, we know that it takes effort and time uh, from hard-pressed colleagues. Um, we, th we have gained enormously from that and the, the feedback we've had is that the institutions have also uh, felt that it has been helpful but we will hear more from the uh, from the rectors on that very shortly. We have also started preparing uh, for our reviews that we'll be undertaking this year 
uh, and these are the reviews of um, uh, UNAC in Akuri and the Academy of the, the Arts and we've been having initial discussions uh, about that and, and again in a most lively and uh, engaging uh, way uh, has been excellent. Uh, the, we have also been giving, beginning to give some very early thought to some of the interesting activities that we might engage in in 2015. Um, assuming that we are we are spared till 2015, um, because that's the year in which there'll be no reviews. And you may remember we said that would be a year of reflection. And one of the things that we thought would be really interesting, this just came out of our discussion this morning, um, is that during that year we would try and have a major international conference where we brought the international community to Iceland and shared a lot of your excellent practice from Iceland with the international community as well as part and parcel of that would be we would gain something from, from that and I think that is a really exciting idea so over the next couple of years uh, we'll be picking up ideas about how to how to take that forward uh, but I think there is now a fair commitment round the board and round the colleagues in the council uh, to, to really make that happen and I'm deliberately kind of making that public now because we now can't pretend that it hasn't been said um, <laughs> so we will we will do our very best to deliver on that and I really really look forward to do that but you really certainly don't want to hear any more from me I will hear from Rita, who chaired the, on behalf of the board, was the chair of the reviews at you know, uh, Agriculture University and at HOLA, uh, and Frank, my other colleague uh, from the board, Frank Quinault, uh, was, was the co-chair. But Rita will take us through the feedback that we can give you, and then we will hear from, from the rectors. Thank you very much.